When will it end? When will it end, Frankie? When will it end? It will never end. Ceaseless, unending, unrelenting. Pointless drama is always in the news. And I have a f***ing news channel now, somehow. So, today we're talking about something that I feel like I haven't talked about a lot. God, I look really small right now. Shit. Why do I always look small whenever I pull my arms out? Uh, dude, I hate Twitter, formerly known as X, or whatever the f*** it's called. I don't care. To be honest, there's always something going on. There's always drama. It's always, always going on. There's something that's keeping Twitter or X afloat. Today, it's Dream. All right, guys, do you know who that is? It's the Minecraft guy. I haven't really talked too much about Dream. I try not to just talk bad about people who I can't prove in my uh, mind, I guess, that they are bad in the moment. I don't really know a lot about him because I'm not a fucking 12-year-old child who plays Minecraft, honestly. Ojo, mira, cómo le voy a poner a este. Vamos ahí, te voy a poner ahí. Vamos ahí, vamos, Willy Crack. Vamos, vamos. I know of him against my own will. I see memes of him singing on TikTok and stuff, and I'm like, oh wow, that's just standard YouTuber cringe stuff. That's I'll be doing that soon. Um, you know, I'm I'm going there, and then you see a little more other stuff down the rabbit hole, like allegations and things like that about Dream. So I'm gonna try to do my best to understand this and then provide a, what I would feel like is a rational, unbiased take. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's jump in. This involves three people, a real dream, a fake dream, and also uh, the star of the amazing world of Gumball, Gumball Waterson. Do you know who that is? I, yeah, okay. Ever since Elon Musk took over Twitter and turned it into a site that looks like it was developed by a 12 year old boy, um, the same ones who watch Dream. There's been a bit of an interesting conundrum on the platform. Parody accounts, people making fun of people absolutely ra ratioing and roasting them. What are you doing? And they're not being any real way to verify who's who because they removed verification. They have like the little blue check, but it only means that you pay money for it, which is stupid. So you can still parody people and it's, it's, it's difficult. There's led to a lot of problems with this. AOC has a parody account. Elon Musk has one. Donald Trump's had one for a long time. His just goes harder than ever on X though. And Dream was taken. I think that's his full name is a parodied person. And that's kind of where all this stuff starts. At least this part of the story. It's where this all starts. Dream, our sweet baby boy, has fallen victim to this treatment. And by the way, this is not allowed to happen on Twitter. I know Ethan Klein got banned for imitating Elon Musk and not disclosing that it was a parody. Ethan also got blocked by his own mother because she didn't realize that it wasn't actually Elon Musk, which is kind of hilarious. My hair looks like pasta, but brown or black, I guess. Given all of this, the mind Minecraft guru dream, it's hard to keep his accounts in track. If you want to stand him, if you want to follow everything he's doing, like watching this type of content or reading these type of tweets, uh, yes, it's difficult to find out who the real dream is because he's got dream, dream was taken. That's really it. But there's a lot of fakes in there. And since he doesn't really have like a, a face because he's taken away his face as a faceless YouTuber, uh, I think he showed it at one point and then took it back, which is asinine. Um, but uh, we've all fallen victim to this kind of being misled thing here, especially the famed Cartoon Network voice actor Nicholas Cantu, aka Gumball oh Watership. He was convinced by a parody account, a dream parody account, which is a little bit embarrassing, to be honest. There's multiple dreams, dude. I don't understand how he gets so many cool dreams. I am Dream Satire Parody. He didn't have this, all right? He didn't have this. This guy didn't have this shit. He got threatened by lawyers from the real Dream, I think. This is the most notable of the Dream fake accounts. You can see that Dream himself is below the fake account, which is hilariously ironic. That's kind of like a bit of a primer on what exactly is going on with Dream and how all this started. Now, The Amazing World of Gumball, a show that many of you have probably heard. And these fake characters have voices that are real people, just in case you didn't know. Just in case you are dumb. Which you might be, but I, I'm, you're not broke though. Go to sourboys.com or <laughs> sour.gg. What the? F I do also own sourboys.com, but sour.gg. Go there, buy some rainbow candy if you want. Fellow known as Junkie Janker, Nicholas Cantu, Gumball Waterson, whatever the f you want to know him as. He has a spicy Twitter account. No, no, not spicy. Spicy means 
something bad. He's got a Twitter account, okay? And he tweets on there. I think it's X now. I really don't know. He also streams. Junkie Janker. He's been around for a long time. He's kind of a legend. Pretty interesting fella. And he's pretty relevant too on the platform. He is 20 years old now as of September 8th this year, 2023. And I don't know if he's uh, a genius or a schizophrenic person. I really don't know. I don't mean to be mean. I'm just coming at this from a, this is what I look. I don't know anything about this person beyond the what I look at. Look, I, what I look, Twitter, okay? Uh, and same with fucking Dream. I don't know anything about these two goobers. They should sell vapes at Best Buy. Half smoked cigarettes sitting on concrete call to me like the ring of power. Gumball would curb stomp that blue jit in an instant. I think that's a uh, Florida word. Florida people say jit, I think. Kind of sounds like a fucking messed up word, to be honest. I don't really know. Maybe that's just my head. I told a young actor I had a G on me and I sold him a baggie of dander for $100. That's pretty funny. So we can see the schizo posting, and that's how this begins. But it ends with a couple of brewskis and some Mary Janes, and a, and a young fella going off the deep end. Two young fellas. Oh my god, I hate to see the jits fighting. The main narrative of this is there was a Twitter fight. Okay, guys, I love a good fucking Twitter fight, and the tale begins when the Dream parody account tweeted a picture of real Dream in a thirst trap which it is a cringe picture. I mean, this is just not my kind of guy. I'm going to be honest. There's not enough, um, uh, 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 I don't know. The dude is like, he looks very, um, uh, young, I guess, like a little, little boy, maybe. I don't really know. It's hard to look at to this image. I'm not saying he's ugly or anything. He's definitely not. He's an average looking dude, regular white guy, but this, I don't like this. Nicholas Cantu responded to that with a absolute ratio worthy. I want Bruh. you dead. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, dude. That is absolutely insane to just say out there. That's crazy. I think that's illegal to say that. Is that like a threat? I would never tweet anything like that because I'm afraid of consequences. Guys, I'm really weak and I'm scared. Now, I don't know if he's saying he wants a dream dead or he wants dream impersonators dead because him and uh, Nicholas Cantu might be best friends. Dream, real dream, and Nicholas Cantu, I don't know. Uh, we don't really know. Uh, it is then at this point, things kick into another gear when fake dream responds to Nicholas Cantu with a picture of him when he was just a little fella. And he says, blocked, implying that, I don't know, maybe he's too, it's like a pedo joke, potentially, he's too old for him. So far, it's all just innocent trolling, kind of fun, funny a little bit, a little edgy, I'm not sure, seemingly in innocent seemingly innocent and there's room to say that nick was trolling too because maybe they're friends i don't know and maybe he knew all along that it was a fake account but even the people commenting were convinced that it was the real dream this is crazy this is the first time a parody account has gone this viral uh in the minecraft space this is huge mark this down in your calendars mouth breathers struggle dice write that down some of the comments are a little mean yeah because you like 12 year olds freak 12 year olds where too old for you? Yes. And then he's kind of playing into the joke of him being a PDF file. And there's plenty of people that are not fooled and they know very well that this is not the real dream. People actually think you're a dream. La, 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 la. The better people not getting the joke. Oh, this has to be the best party cat I've seen in a while. These people keep falling for it. This man's paid for Twitter Blue just to commit heavier to the bit. It worked, dude. All you gotta do is pay for Twitter Blue. And so let's not forget about Nicholas Cantu. He saw this response from the dream account that we're talking about here. And to him, it was an opportunity to enact a scorched earth type policy onto Dream. And I don't know exactly why, but maybe he doesn't like being blocked or something. So he tweeted this. Bro, when you an actual file, you can't joke about being a file. Interesting. Okay, so he just called someone a file. That could be defamatory, to be honest. To just say, hey, you're a file. I know that for sure. All right, that's a crime. That's illegal. That's an illegal crime that you're accusing someone of. Uh, not allegations, nothing, no one else's information. You were just saying literally, and then you also said you wanted him dead right before that. So it's like a very clear thing that's happening here now. And up until this point, Nick was playing it off pretty cool. Yeah, I knew it was a fake account. I was just trolling him too, bro. <laughs> so he's playing into the bit, right? Nicholas Cantu's playing into the bit. He's calling Dream a file. Eventually, calling someone a file when you're calling their parody account gets back to the original person that is being parodied because it's the same thing, right? Like it's not, he's not saying, he's saying, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? That part's interesting, but Dream's upset, okay? Because a famous person that's relevant just called him a file and it got a lot of likes on Twitter. So he for sure saw it. But you can see in the responses that he knew that it was a, that it was a joke. He claimed that it was all role play. We don't know. We don't know if, it, I don't know about the timeline. Did he actually know it was fake? I don't really know. I don't, I personally, 
Mm, I don't know. I don't think he knew. I don't think he knew. But that's just because I've been trolled by uh, a fake Twitter account twice. Now, two fake Twitter accounts. Actually, three if you really want to go back. Shoo! Markiplier, I sent you a picture of my cock. Now, where's my collab? I got trolled by a fake Markiplier account one time. Anyways, all this led to Dream calling Gumball out. Dream versus Gumball. Holy fucking shit. Who do you have winning? Who are you betting on in this situation? I personally don't have a dog in the fight because I don't know who either one of these people are. Ugh, Dream let out a and I ain't reading all that nonsense. You're applying to a fake account. I'm not a file no matter how much you joke, but you are a shitty, terrible human. You physically assaulted me, said the N-word and other slurs, verbally berated an Uber driver saying, that's why I'm a famous movie star and you're an Uber driver, and they were just trying to help you not get arrested. Calling them the R slur and saying your IQ is among geniuses and making racist remarks towards them. Then you apologized in Twitter DMs to me because you were drunk and high. You should never treat anyone like that regardless of circumstance. Crazy how the voice actor from Dora the Explorer, Gumball, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is being racist and replying to fake dream accounts in his free time. Photo in case he deletes. So that's like, that's pretty, that's crazy as well, right? That's like another, that's a lot of fucking things that you're claiming as well that you, there's no receipts to as of yet. And quite honestly, it makes me want to have better friends. I think I need to get in, get into groups like this. This is so fucking toxic. I love it. <laughs> so Dream heated very bad from seeing real Gumball call him a file and thinking of, of him in a negative way. And he comes to defend himself from horrible accusations. Of course! Seems reasonable. What's funny is that the parody account that started all this started to get more likes than the real dream responding. You're the fake account here. Stop impersonating me or else I'll send my of age army of discord kittens to dox you. Jesus. My God, this is the Wild West. Uh, anyways, this stirred up a lot of drama between the two of these goobers. And then Nicholas doubled down, responded to Dream, said this. Yes, I slap box you in front of the hose. Yes, I was an asshole to the Uber driver. I was wasted and it wasn't cool, which is why I tipped in a lot of money and have been cutting back on drinking. Yes, I called you fat and a predator. He's spot on about basically everything except the racial shit and me saying the N-word. Don't do that shit. Won't say that shit ever. Hire a Harvard professor to calculate why despite texting every Twitch stream in Austin, not a single one wanted to f*** you. Oh, that goes rough, man. That goes, that goes rough. So he made it to everything but saying the N-word. Smart man. So yeah, he slapped him, apparently, and then says he shouldn't have drank so much, he mistreated an Uber driver, and then doubles down, calls him a predator and fat. But being racist, that's way too far, dude. These people are angry at each other, it seems like, and they're both out for blood at this point. Apparently, one of the reasons that Junkie Janker disappeared for a while and stopped making content was because of Dream Stands. <sighs> I don't know what any- Dude, what am I even f***ing saying right now? This is so lame. This is so stupid. I'm ending the video. Just kidding. Dream showed a response to text messages as a response. Not engaging with your bad faith roasts. You did everything I said and also all the things you admitted to. A-F-A-I-K, you tipped him as far as I know. You tipped him nothing too. I just figured that out. Did you see that shit? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that. I don't think I'm, I'm you know, all these jits and their new fucking symbolism and stuff, the way they communicate and stuff. Not that tipping would excuse anything, though. You threaten my life, hit me, then shut the fuck up and apologize when I hit back. Grow up. So this is Cantu saying he wanted to clear air, bad blood, etc. He saw last night he's humble, grounded, and a decent man who can roll the punches. He even talks about all the dream allegations and says how that stuff's bad when he doesn't know anything about it and has no proof to it. So... <sighs> In short, Nicholas apologizes for the Uber incident, slapping him, and told him that, hey man, it sucks that you're going through allegations and he doesn't know if it's true or false, but feels bad either way. A very mature apology. A 20-year-old slapping a 24-year-old incredibly mature. <sighs> so then the internet starts attacking Dream like normal and says that Dream's on a yapping spree, which is true. He loves to fucking yap. And so does Nicholas Cantu. They're all yapping. What the hell are they yapping about? At this point, I'm not sure if Dream's hate mob or his audience is larger. If the Dream stands or the Dream hate mob. Who's more, who's more relevant right now? This is insane. People love Gumball. People hate guy who plays Minecraft who is alleged file, I think. I don't really know, but also a lot of people love him too. Nicholas keeps on going hard and he's not even really worried about Dream at this point. He's just, he's spreading, he's spreading information. Also, suddenly reaching out to streamers means you want to fuck them? And then he says, yeah, when the first thing you do is send a, a weenie pic. So he's saying that he's sending unsolicited weenie pictures to women, all the streamers in Austin. Hey man, I already tried that. It doesn't work. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's really fucked up. I shouldn't have said that.
I've never done that. I've never even taken a picture of my weenie. And as per usual, someone got blocked. It happens when the tide starts to sway one way or turn in the direction of one person or just depending, it, it, someone gets blocked on Twitter. Usually that's what happens. Um, Cantu got blocked by Dreamy Weenie. And Cantu titled this tweet stating, New Big, which is his reference to him hitting a new all-time high in life. Cantu even says, hold on, sending Predator drone, lol. I'm not done Hellfire Missile incoming. Predator, I guess, because he's like a predator. I'm not sure, dude. Then another account called Robbo comes out of the fucking trash can or wherever this is happening and says that everything that was claimed against Dream is true and that he also slapped a girl, got slapped by a girl because he called her a or something. And Dream says, you weren't even in the same state as me when this happened. Whole tweet is a lie. I don't even know who you are. And then I'll go around randomly disrespecting women. The continuous trope of women are helpless people that need defending from men. P p from people like you is exciting. <laughs> Not even the guy who assaulted me claimed this happened, lol, and he said every lie he could. Now this guy replied to himself and said essentially, oh, it was a different party and you didn't get slapped, but it happened, I promise. Anything to win an argument on the internet. Oh, then Cantu posted this. Three hours, we were just all in the same area at the high roller table, and this man just consistently lost money. Like, I think by the end of it, he lost like thirty, forty thousand dollars. It's like it's pennies for a Minecraft pedophile racking in the dough off. I don't really know what's going on in that video, to be honest. It's very strange. It's beautiful. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know. Final tweet is this though. Bitch made liar, your deletion is my priority. Um, he also tweeted this after. Um, I guess it's kind of funny. It's a little, little lame, but it's like, you know, I get, I get the idea, right? This is him claiming a victory over Dreamy, Dreamy, Weemy. He's obliterating his, his argument, etc. At this point, Dream has blocked Nick. So like, they're not really interacting right now. And there's a bit of a lull. But in the meantime, Nick still tweeting. He responds to some people calling him out. He basically says in this text message thing that the tisk tisk part of that previous video that involved a certain woman is real and he will not be including her in the back and forth because it would be irresponsible and he's right about that then he ends that with out of here take a walk drink some water pretty much everyone at this point is on gumball's side they like gumball a lot they think he's really funny gumball is cooking gumball is cooking dream fuck. people start saying that's a great thing uh i don't know i don't know people like it dreams audience is nowhere to be seen i don't know if they're too young to read or they just don't understand what's going on. They've given up on the argument because nobody wants to be called out by a fucking gumball. I'd like to also take this moment to just get, tell you guys, it is insane how much drama this fucking guy Dream is involved in. Like, what? I am amazed that I've been able to last this long without being exposed to too much of it. I did research on him for a video like a year, two years ago, and it, that video did fucking terrible. And I'm so glad that it did because I forgot all of it, and I don't care, and I don't like this. I don't like this culture all right i don't like this culture i do like the way that this ends though and i'm excited to see what happens you guys are gonna like it too crazy amount of stuff's going on here and then dream drops a i would maybe call this a bombshell potentially it's a bit of a bombshell it's a crazy video you know, i would not want to have this video of me at all to be honest and it is a video of nicholas essentially agreeing to what he dream said he did it's a video of that remember this tweet it's a video of this I'm gonna arrest your ass, yeah, of course, right? When that. he came back, what was the first thing he told you? He, he said, got listen, out. He said, listen, he, he, he said, if you get out, I'm a what? I God, that. I was trying to tell so you listen, that before so you yeah. even started talking but, 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 to me. Yeah, before I tell you, listen I, to somebody listen. who has experience in life. If I'm putting you on game, right? See, you still no, go, no, no, go. no, 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 I'm not going. So no. you're asking I'm why? Not, I'm not going. I'm not going because you're manipulating. The same thing you say you not want to do or you went through, you're doing the exact same shit. And you're using all these bullshit excuses of why you're still fucking up. It'll take 10,000, 100,000 of them to take me down. So that's how minuscule you are to my size, right? My stature of intelligence, character, body, and um, reverence in the world. 1K is better for this pussy who doesn't want to give away his millions. Are you Jewish? No, man, because I'm going to do movies, stand-up, comedy, everything, all the shit. That's Music, fine. whatever the fuck, e-commerce. You don't understand that you're talking to, like, a Michelangelo of my time. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. That is probably the least likable human being that I've seen in a long time. This guy does not seem like a cool guy. 
<laughs> if this is what he's doing in his free time when he doesn't realize he's being recorded, this is a bad person that nightmares are made of for, for me socially. If I were to meet someone like this, I would not be able to stand them and I would never wanna be around them ever in any circumstance and under any circumstance. And I would physically fight my way out of a situation in which I needed to be near this person because I couldn't stand. He is crazy. This guy is fucking crazy. This guy is fucking insane. Unhinged, truly unhinged behavior. Now, I don't know if he was drunk. That appears to be what it is. This posting this leads to a couple of uh, scenarios here though. Hey, Nicholas Cantu is a piece of shit. Seems like he admits to that. So that's true. That's true. At least in the, at the time of this video, when it was recorded back in like July or August, some shit like that, this man was kind of a piece of shit. And if he was drunk, how? He's only 20 years old and he was probably 19 when this was recorded because it was a few months ago, I assume. And he turned 20 on the 8th of September, 2023. In the video, we hear him say the F slur, which I don't even know the rules of saying that, to be honest. He claims he's pansexual, so I'm not sure if that gives gets you the pass. The R slur, I don't know what gives you the pass. <laughs> it gets you the pass to say that one. And he also threatens to kill Dream. He also says the guy, guy is Australia Pithecus level Cro-Magnon brow down syndrome level stupid, which is very rude. I mean, that's like beyond rude. I want to tell you right now, you are Australopithecus Cro-Magnon rock fucking stupid. This is someone who is on an absolute schizophrenic power trip. Uh, and like some kind, there's something wrong with this person. Like this is not normal. This is like foosy levels of unhinged, right? So that makes it a more serious situation. Okay, we got an underage man drinking with a overage man. 21, dreams 21 or 24. How the f is this easy drinking with the guy he's drunk? Kind of weird to go out drinking with someone who's underage and he's using a fake ID to be honest. Dream then goes on to say that there's so much more that wasn't posted. This is only 1 50th of the night, and it's cut up like that to get witnesses edited out of the video in case they wanted to not be included in the situation. Also, he posted this on his main account, which has three times more followers than his alt, <laughs> whatever. So the video does make Cantu look very, very, very bad. How does the community react? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they don't give a f dude. They sided with him no matter what because uh, it seems like everyone hates Dream. Why are you out drinking with underage anyway? Jesus, you're both horrible people. That's based and red pilled. Holy f. So it's no one cares. These, these all have thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of likes. <laughs> Nopify even said he really filmed this months in advance. Like, yeah, this will get me out of some criminal allegations one day. <laughs> Reminder that this piece of shit known as Dream filmed this and held onto it for months until it benefited him. That is, that's pretty crazy as well, dude. I just could never, I can never rationalize who is writing this situation and what, like, this is terrible. These people suck. These aren't even real people. These are fake. One very interesting point is the fact that you can hear Dream kind of laughing in the background along with the other people. So they're enabling this insane unhinged behavior from Cantu until it no longer benefits them and they can no longer be uh, you know, they're no longer sort of in the wrong, right? He posts the video because Nicholas Cantu is attacking him. It was funny to them until there was Twitter beef. Dream then posts again on his other account. All I know is that if I'm like him, I assaulted someone, admitted to it, said slurs on video to a service worker while belittling them, lied about tipping that person, and went on a narcissistic rant about how I'm above everyone. I'd be crucified. But okay, Twitter, green man bad instead. But you did these other horrible things, and I'm sure you're not being hypocritical about them at all, or at least you're holding on to them in the same standard of proof that's been provided here. I couldn't convince you the sky is blue if I tried to. That's, that's true. I do feel... Uh, that that is a truthful thing. People hate Dream. They're not going to change their minds and they're entitled to their own opinions, brother, brothers and sisters. They're entitled to their own opinions. I do agree with that. If Nicholas Cantu was a was me, if I had a video come out like that, I think my career would be over, to be honest. And the only reason that this probably is not going to affect this man at all is because it's against Dream, seems like, which is awesome. It's crazy, the double standard. Insane. Someone said, you recorded a 19-year-old blackout drunk with the intention of using it to ruin his career if he crossed you. And Dream said, I wasn't the one recording. A 20-year-old that asked to be recorded by someone because he was owning everyone, and then I posted it when he completely lied about the entire situation online after assaulting me. The allergy to the truth continues. I, I've never seen anyone get flamed quite like this, though. This, this guy is getting completely flamed and just destroyed by this everyone except for nick gumball's not he's fine but dream is getting destroyed i've never seen this before it's a complete and total deconstruction like those lame sandwiches you get at expensive restaurants dreams has it happened two months ago okay so he was 20 
right? Because it's two months ago. That would be the uh, two months at the time of this posting would be the fucking, I don't know, with the with the, the, the 19th of September. Um, So he'd be 20. He had just turned 20. I didn't film it. It was recorded because he asked for it to be. I just met him for the first time at a random party and no one turned on anyone. I let this 20-year-old man I didn't know with a fake ID drink. Yes, that's, I mean, yeah, that's, I feel like that's just, they're both pieces. I mean, come on. How could you ever side with one of these people? I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't want to be involved in this anymore. I don't want to be in the internet anymore. I don't like these people. Another point is Dream said he said racial slurs. We didn't see anything racist in the video. Uh, there was a, a Jewish reference, which would be anti-Semitic, potentially. But the internet is fine with that now, apparently, too. So I'm really confused as to what exactly is going on with all of this. Because there's a hole now in Dream's story. He didn't say anything racist. Like, that's the main thing that he didn't even admit to. Everything else he fucking admitted to. What's hilarious is that this all stemmed from a fake Dream account. A Dream parody account. I, dude, this guy's got to get fucking sued or something, right? Something has to happen to this guy. Gumball Waterson potentially loses his voice acting career because he got exposed for being a piece of shit. And Dream is just getting consistently annihilated on Twitter. Dude, what about this? I'm, I'm excited to see the comments too of how many people who are just mad that I even say anything about uh about Cantu because people hate Dream so much. Dude, I don't I don't care about either one of these fucking people. I never want to meet either one of them ever in my whole life. Ever. Please. God. The fake account's my favorite part. <laughs> he was tweeting during the whole thing. 17 is basically the new 18. This is why I support Israel. Stop calling me a file i'm a minor attracted person okay that, that one's that one's very funny just because the face it looks funny right so we get two friends who were once close i guess who have now become enemies i don't know if they were ever actually close it seems like they weren't um i see no good outcome from this i see this being bad for everyone involved uh i think you should hold everyone to the same standard i guess really realistically and not try to be biased just because green man bad i think green man bad just to be clear i'm not a, i'm not a dream stan although i do love his music Usually we don't have to film updates to videos this quickly, but since this is happening live as we speak, and there still is a lot left uncovered, we decided to add a little bit of an update because there's been a lot of... Dream is making a response to all of this. People still are on the side of Gumball, Waterson it seems like, and not so much Dream. There's a lot of evidence, more evidence coming out now that he about the alleged allegation nonsense stuff. The imposter account got deleted, okay? we get, That got suspended, that's expected. But there's a new parody account that already has 80,000 or so followers at the time of filming this, probably 100,000 now. And guys, new evidence came out. A dream moan just dropped. Dream moaning into the microphone on Snapchat just dropped and it is so cringe and I don't know if it's real and that's what I'm saying. He needs to make, if it's not true, he needs to make a video, a big video, just talking about all this stuff so people can understand what exactly is going on. Oh. I don't even know what's going on, dude. And then he made this big video, working on a video response. I'm, I'm excited to see the video. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And quite frankly, I don't care. And I'm so tired of this. I will say one thing that I thought was hilarious is that Dream said that him moaning in the mic, the, the leak of that was revenge. I don't think that that's revenge. I think there's people who have been stricken with revenge. And it's not uh, them moaning in the mic. I... Uh, while sending that to him. I don't know what that is. That doesn't seem like revenge now. Basically, I just wanted to add a little update here, okay? Dream's making a video, and it's probably gonna be full of excuses. Hopefully, there's some logic. And dude, if if all this comes out to be not true, people hate this guy because he fucking hired a Harvard mathematician to disprove that he cheated on, on Minecraft, and then he actually did accidentally cheat on Minecraft, and that's what's caused all this. I do not like this at all. I hate the internet so much.